Okay, so one of the important pieces that we need to do to get the 8 HP 70 transmission running is we need to put the correct valve body in it. So let's talk about the correct transmission to begin with. So this is the 8 HP 70 out of a Jeep Grand Cherokee um, SRT 8. Now it has the correct uh, setup back here to have the, uh, let me get grab this real quick. To have the adapter plate bolted on and i'm not holding it the correct way but yeah it's like that i believe um so this is the correct transmission correct adapter plate and we know that we need to modify the adapter plate a little bit but one of the things that we need to do is down on the bottom here if you can see that this this black ring down here is the valve body that um, you know, to be honest, I don't know 100% of what the valve body is for, but I do know that you need to have the proper valve body. And my understanding is it is the one that's out of a Dodge Challenger, uh, you know, 6.4 uh, with that 8 HP 70 transmission. Now, we do have one. So I bought two engines. The first one I bought was out of a 2015 Scat Pack um, with the 8, 8 HP 70 transmission. And this one is obviously the one that's out of the Jeep Grand Cherokee. So I started working on this already and I figured it'd be a good opportunity to show you because it's kind of important here. So what I did is I drained the oil out of this transmission. I flipped it upside down, took out the bolts that hold the, I'm just gonna call it transmission pan on. And then followed the procedure. There's a lot of procedures online, but there's basically one bolt that holds this on and then three bolts right here that come off. You have to lift up this little lever right here. It's, it's currently up already, but normally it's down all the way. You pull that up and then there's a piece of plastic that goes in right here. You have to pull that straight out. Then that releases that piece. Then there's a whole bunch of bolts on top of here that we have to take out. And I've already loosened them and you can see the ones that are already there. That uh, they're, they're actually have a bigger star bit torque head um, than the other ones that are in there. But it's pretty much straightforward. You just undo that stuff I just explained, and then we're gonna lift it out right now. One more thing before we lift this out that is important to note, is right on the side right here, there's the lever right here, and that actually holds, well, what we found out is it actually clips it in. So, um, Jen, if you wanna go ahead and lift that out. Okay. All right. So yeah. That's what we're looking at on the inside of the transmission right there. I'm gonna go ahead and get this button back up. And yeah, I have a uh, Lake New uh, AHP 70 out of a Dodge Challenger Scat Pack for sale. So it does not come with a valve body. <laughs> All right, so we're going to actually put the valve body back into the correct transmission and we ran into an issue. And I'll show you what the problem is. The problem is this lever right here has to go all the way up. There's a level around the outside too, but when it goes like this, it just doesn't go all the way up. So we're looking around YouTube. We just could not find a good solution on how to get that popped up. But my beautiful wife was actually able to figure out how to do it. And my friend, Matt, who's my neighbor right here, waving to us, he's gonna actually show us how to do it. So Matt, let's go ahead and, and do it. You'll notice that he pushes down on whatever lever this is, and then it allows him to pull it all the way back. And now we can set the valve body directly down and be able to bolt everything in. All right, cool. Yeah. As you can see right here, we got the valve body back on. We got the cover back on the correct location, and that's ready to go back on the actual engine itself. So tomorrow that's what we'll be doing. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.